Hello, this is Alex, and welcome to my Let's Play Series 2. Um, last time, I uh, showed you the pixel art I made of uh, the apple and the book. Since then, I made another one. Um, I made one of those guys up there, and if we can find one of them over here, maybe... Uh, where are they? I want to look at the face. Okay, hello. So you can see the face, compare them. I tried to stay as true as I could to the uh, colors and the uh, places of the blocks and so on. So I did one of the certificates, so the villages up there. I want to make an iron golem and put him on that roof, but I'm having a little trouble because if you look in his face, it's all. Uh, it's all pink and brown and different kinds of grey and his nose particularly is, is very hard to get right. So if you think you know how to make him look like this in pixel art, please leave me a, a comment or a video response or something because I'd like to see how you make him look like that. Um, I was thinking about maybe raising the nose a little bit. I don't know yet, but oh well, that's uh, one of the changes. Um, someone asked me how I make these uh, the pixel art, and it's pretty simple. I just jump on top of the roof and put down the blocks. And uh, today we're gonna do a few of them. Uh, let me just get rid of all this. I prepared a little bit up there. And you may have seen in my inventory that I got some materials ready. So we can go up there and try and make some pixel art. Okay, so let's see up here. I cleared a little bit more space here. Uh, and I figured out where the doors are so I can center them on top of the respectable houses. So the pigs are below here. The brown is the cows. This is the sheep, and this is the scary chicken den of horror. I think I'm just going to close that for now so I don't fall down there. I don't know exactly how I'm going to place them. I thought about offsetting them, maybe. But I think for now I'm just going to build them, um, and we'll see how it looks. Uh, but I'm going to take a short cut here, and, re and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, let's see, let's start with the pig here, so clear out some room, and the pig head is, uh, no, I need that on my bar just in case, and I'm gonna turn down these guys because they are loud. The pig head has pink and brown and white and black, so I just, I just build it like this, you see it's eight white, uh, what's that for? Five, six, seven, eight, and it's eight tall as well. So I'm just gonna do one row at a time. Uh, let's see. And the third one is. Uh, I'm trying to go by memory here and what I built earlier, and I have a picture to look at. And then we go up one more. Like this, yes, and then we have the derpy eyes, and pink all the way across to the another derpy eye, like this, and then three layers of pink. So we might as well do that, like this. Oh, it's getting dark. We may finish the pick. Come on. Like this. Let's go see if I did it right. Yeah, that looks like a pig. I think I'm gonna go like. No, let's see. I need more pink wool. Hmm. Let's just sleep. And go get some more pink wool. I think I have some down here. Yeah, there's a little bit more here. Ok, 
Okay. And get back up there. Because I think we need to do this to the pig for him to look proper, right? Yeah, that's nice. It's big square head. And if you look here at the guy sticking out, he's got a square head, it's 8 pixels by 8 pixels. So, we're gonna look at the side of it most of the time, but if we come from this side, it looks okay. So the next one is the cow, he's got a huge head as well. Um, I need some food. No, that's not food. Uh, let's kill these guys as well. Let's get some XP. Man, there are a lot of them in here. Uh, I've been going to the uh, the little thing I made to kill Enderman over there at night and just getting a few more of the Ender Pearls, which I have down here. So I think before soon we are going to go looking for the, uh, what's it called? A stronghold. Yeah, that's it. If I could speak. Let's get a little food. Okay. Pig is done. Oh. Uh, I don't know. No, I don't think we need more light up here. Let's get rid of this. And let's see, let's make the cow's head. So I just look at the uh, at images I have. I see we're gonna need a lot of brown and white and light gray and dark gray and black. I think that's it. So uh, you can just, I just went to the wiki. And uh, if you go to the wiki and look up the the mobs, Oh, they're actually, I think, on maybe even on the front page, I forget. But I just look at the pictures there and uh, try and make it according to those. So, that's the bottom row. Yeah, you can already see it looks like a cow. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's see, and the next one is brown and white again. And black for the nostril. And two light gray and another nostril. And like this, the third one is like this, and the top of his, uh, his mouth here, and two more of these, and then brown all the way across. Then we got an eye here, and Let's see, which side am I looking at? I'm looking at from this side. Okay, and we've got two brown, and a light gray, another brown, white, and another eye. Okay, and then light gray for the eyebrows, and brown, and two light gray for the thing down his, his forehead. And two more light gray. Then we got two brown here. And three light gray. Then brown the rest of the way. Okay. And then the last layer is three brown, two light gray, two dark gray, and a brown. That's it, I think. see. Yeah, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, you can't really see them. It's a bit of a problem. I may have to redo all of them. And maybe they should be raised up and... I don't know. They should be facing this way, actually. But there's not really room, because they're so wide. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, you can see the colors there. The 
got that thing down the forehead. That thing there. Okay. So that's two of them. Let's see, the next one is the sheep. We don't need the brown. We need uh, white and we need wooden planks for the the color on their faces. Can you please poke your head through here? Hello. Thank you. That color in the face there is almost impossible to get. But it's very close to this color right next to him. So I'm just going to use wood. And we are going to use pink for the snout and yeah I think that's it white pink black for the eyes and wood for the face let's go try okay I got a suggestion to use uh, uh, actually yeah we can go try that I want to try that to use. Um, oh, I can't. I can't speak right now. Uh, mushroom blocks, and that may look good. I need a mushroom. I think I have nature items. Do I have any mushrooms in food? Yeah, here. Yeah. One of these, and we're gonna need one of those, and we're gonna need a pickaxe with silk touch so let's see over here if I have one with silk touch uh, I'm just going to use this axe here oops let's get out of here so we should get the mushroom block when we use silk touch on it uh, when you grow something like this you need a lot of space around it so maybe here we can try uh, get rid of this yeah and they fixed so you can't um, you actually need a shade to, to be able to do this maybe here okay good uh, they fixed it so you need you can't have light level 15 which is directly under the sun you need light level 13 or 12 or something like that so Let's get this, and maybe we can try and use this for the face of the of the sheep. Uh, if you just use a normal tool on this, you will get uh, you will just break the blocks and maybe get mushrooms from this. But uh, in this case, I want the blocks instead. So I got 50 mushroom blocks. That's good and two rotten flesh for some reason be quiet in there I could throw uh, potions of uh, splash healing in here to kill all the zombies and skeletons and then just poke the the creepers here but it, I just go like this normally let's see what we got we got a lot of crap. Okay, so uh, we need the white and the black and the pink. All right, let's go make a sheep face. Okay, so white and then the mushroom. Let's get rid of this one. It's not that it's only six white, four of those and white again and another. And the mouth is here. And mushroom all the way across. This is one that's going to be fast. And then the derby eyes. And mushroom in the middle. And all the way across. And then the wool on top. Yeah, that looks pretty good, actually. Looks like a sheep, at least. Okay. Um, I think maybe I should make the snout protrude on both sides. I don't know. 
I don't think it's gonna obstruct anymore. Let's see how it looks. Uh, bravo. Yeah, that's good. So the last one is going to be the chicken. Uh, we don't actually need brown, we need red and white. And these two colors. And black, actually. So, Oh, it's already night again. Okay, let's have another sleep. Think. <coughs> Get back up here and make a face for the for the chicken. Let's get rid of this one. I can get rid of this one. Yes. And we ne actually need something there, so we can get rid of them at the end. They uh, they're not supposed to be there. I'm just gonna use dirt so I remember to remove them. Yeah. This red thing here is the I don't know what you call that thing hanging below the the chicken beak. And the next layer is gonna be the dark wood. And it, and it's only four white and the light wood. They got tiny faces. And then the eyes. And then the brow. And then get rid of this. Okay. And we can extend this. Just to give it a little more. And we can do it back here as well. I think we only need to extend it on one side because otherwise it's going to look very weird. Yeah, let's go remove that. But I think it looks like a chicken. Could perhaps actually turn that head. Hmm. Yeah, I'll think about if there may be some way I can have them facing outwards instead of this direction. Uh, maybe move the sheep and the cow switch the places because the sheep head is only six wide. I have each pen is five wide so if you have one of these that are eight wide it's gonna obstruct s s things on both sides so that's not uh, that's not gonna work. Okay here's my, my normal X. Get rid of this because it looks weird and go get rid of the the pig snout here as well. Okay. So that's the the pixel art. It's not very it's not very complex to make. One, two, three. Let's just put one and we'll put it there. Things are gonna be spawning on top of these anyway, so Yeah, that's good. I think I'm gonna go mm, make the nose and that guy bigger. I need dark wood for that. Let's see. Uh, I don't need the light wood anymore. Uh, but I do need the dark wood. Let's just take half of that. Get rid of all these things. Uh, I'm a little confused here. Uh, what? Where's my food? Ah, okay. I need to eat. Let's see if we can get up there. And fix that nose. I think it's going to look good if it's protruding a little bit more. Stop pushing! We can turn up the sound a little. Okay, dark wood. Uh. 
and maybe then get rid of these two below here. Yeah, I think that's better. <laughs> yeah, that's that looks nice, I think. Looks like one of these guys. Hello, with your big noses. Yeah, again, if you know how to make the face of the uh, the iron golem, let me know, and I'll put it on top of this house. But for now, it's just gonna stay like that. Um, one of my subscribers suggested that to make this up here more reliable, that I put more uh, certificates into the mechanism that turns the thing on and off and I did I just made put one more in a similar house I got one of them up here so uh, let's see if I can get out of there there's a guy in there he's currently standing on his pressure plate thank you for illustrating he went outside and this one turned off uh, even though this guy is in there on his pressure plate so they both have to be indoors like they are also now this guy walked outside Thank you for illustrating that. Uh, both of the pressure plates needs to be pressed down for this torch to go out and this one to go out. This is an AND gate here. Um, and if they're both inside, this will turn on and the sign will turn on. So this guy is now inside his house. You can see the torch went out. He's inside. There we go. You see, they're both inside now. But uh, it doesn't happen as often as it did before, so it's still not perfect, but I don't want to put more guys up there. I don't mind it going on now and then. Uh, let's see, we have one, two, three of the guys now. The iron golems. Oop. Uh, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, and I did uh, these uh, pixel art here with the the apple and the book and all that in exactly the same way I did these. Just climbed on top and started building. So it's not uh, it's not difficult. Just look up uh, a picture of what it what the mob looks like or the item, and you can try and find uh, colors as close as possible and see if we can get it to work. But uh, thank you Dr. Pepper Pro for suggesting the, uh, uh, what's it called, the mushroom blocks there. I think it looks nice. Um, so yeah, do you think I should turn them? Let me know. Maybe raise one of them or, yeah I don't really know how to make it so you can see all of their faces at once. But I like this, and I like the little protruding nose there, and the beak over there. And yeah, uh, let me just have a quick look at the time and see uh, where we're at, and I will be right back. Yeah, we're almost done with the episode, and uh, we did get a, a bit done, we got some of the... Uh, Oops, not the X. Some of the, <coughs> excuse me, the pixel art made. Uh, be quiet, I'm talking. So the episode is not going to be as long as uh, normal, but I hope you're okay with that. Can't always be uh, a long episode. <coughs> excuse me, I got something in my throat here. Uh, I need to get rid of all Look at all these eggs I get all the time. This is why there are so many in here. It's scary in there. Man. And I get on the other side of this, because the eggs I throw in there hit the glass at the end. And often the, uh, the small chiclet or whatever is... Uh, 
is gonna hit the glass and go inside it for some reason. And then it will come out on the other side. So I'm gonna empty all of these and we'll go have a look. Go, 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 go. Good. And see the glasses back here. So we may have some chiclets back here now. No? Okay. Oh, so many chickens. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see they're here. <laughs> Die. I met another fireball. It took me a few tries, but... Uh, because the other one I want to save for killing the dragon. Because it's got... Uh, it's got better power, which is damage. And it's got knockback as well. Which I don't think is going to help on the dragon, but it may help on... Enderman, uh, I don't know. We'll see. I need to make some... Uh, I need to find the stronghold, of course. I need to make some diamond armor. And we will go and kill it again. Um, yeah, so that's it for this time. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.